The boys are back in the airport and have just landed from an internal flight. Before they go, there is still a good opportunity to make one last steal at the baggage reclaim. After every flight, all travellers' bags are left exposed as they are paraded around in front of total strangers. And this is a situation the hustlers intend to take complete advantage of. Paul and Alex take up position by the carousel and bide their time. This is a very high-risk scam. With all these people around, you can't just go and pick up any bag off the carousel. But our hustlers have some rather cunning tricks up their sleeves that should ensure success as long as they keep an eye on the crowd at all times. Paul is looking out for his own case he put through security. He reclaims his bag and puts it on the trolley. But as we'll see shortly, this is no ordinary bag. Paul now looks for another case, not his case, mind, but one that's going to be small enough to work for his lift. He spots one and quickly goes to work. Paul's own bag has a fake front panel. After opening it, Paul quickly repositions himself to cover the obvious hole. Now he needs to get his timing right. He feeds it through the false panel, quickly zips it up, and within seconds, the bag has gone from sight and gone for good. Meanwhile, Alex is looking out for a black suitcase. Not his, of course, but somebody else's. He quickly grabs an innocuous black bag, and with the help of two very nifty props, a vivid strap, and a brightly coloured luggage tag, the simple black case instantly becomes a different bag in appearance that no one would even think was their own. What I would advise for most cases is try and stand somewhere where you can see the bags coming out. And also, a lot of the time now, people travel with the same bag. Some bags become very popular. Try and make your suitcase as distinctive as possible. Put a strap around it, put a label on it that makes it distinctly yours. So the moment you see somebody trying to take that off, you know what to do.